Yo, what is going on everybody? It's the Hand Tree Gamer. Hope you're a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Madden video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best coin making methods to do in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. And as always, if you guys have any questions, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. And if you guys do enjoy this video, if this video does help you out, please do like and comment so this will make it discovered more on YouTube. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever I upload. And it would also help out the channel a lot. And as always, there will be timestamps down below in the comment section. It should be the pinned comment, so that way you guys can skip to a method or skip a method. So for example, if you guys are on method number two, but you guys have already heard of it, or if you guys just don't like it in general, then you guys can go down into the comment section, go to the pinned comment, click on the timestamp next to method number three, and skip right to method number three. So usually with the first method, I like to top out what's coming up in Madden 21 Ultimate Team, how to prepare and make coins from it when it does come out or before it comes out. But right now, we don't know what's gonna be coming out in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. EA has not given us any hints. We're thinking Team Diamond Series 2 will be coming out soon. So if you guys want to prepare for that, I recommend opening up some Geta Player Packs because to complete the Team Diamond sets, you need to get like a lot of gold players and a lot of elite players. So I'm guessing if EA releases some good Team Diamond players that the gold and elite players will go up in price. So I recommend opening up some get a player packs and maybe just you know just saving up your gold players and elite players in case the team diamond series 2 sets make the players go up in general but i don't know besides that how else you're going to prepare for future content considering we don't know what else is coming but we are going to talk about the mutt master series five objectives so these objectives right here as you guys see i haven't done any of these but i know the fastest way to complete these at least the force fumbles the interception with samuels is going to be a little bit tricky but the force fumbles is going to be really easy so i'm going to show you guys how to complete all of these objectives as fast as possible since these are new so you guys want to complete these before series 5 ends because you guys will get 150k if you get it while series 5 is still going on if you guys don't do it before series 6 comes out then you guys only get 35,000 coins so that's a 115k difference so you definitely want to make sure you guys complete all these as fast as possible also i am recording this on monday and i will be uploading this on tuesday so content might already be out on tuesday i don't know because i'm on Mon monday obviously but you know if content is out on tuesday i do apologize but i'm on monday so i don't know if it can't if content's gonna be coming out soon like I said, i'm hoping for team diamond series 2 i recommend you open up some get a player packs to prepare for that but if you guys are wanting to complete these objectives, I actually recommend you just do these gradually because these challenges are not too hard. You guys could probably get them gradually because it's more efficient if you try to complete these objectives while doing other challenges. Because if you just try to focus on these objectives, yes, you will get the 150K, but you also won't get anything else. But if you focus on, let's say, like the team of the year challenges, then you guys will get a you know 96 overall free player and you guys will also get 150K while you know doing these objectives while you're doing the team of the year challenges or whatever other challenges you're going towards. So I recommend doing these gradually while doing some challenges you haven't finished yet but if you guys just want to focus on them and get your 150k completely understand so to get your force fumbles done it's pretty easy i just like to go to rivals go to preliminaries and go to defend rushing now it doesn't have to be with sam mills it can be with anybody so we're just going to do this on one star and as you guys could see by my level, I haven't played the game too much since Series 5 has come out just because I haven't had too much fun with this game, but I'm going to try to get back into it. But to get your force fumbles with, not with Sam Mills, but with anybody, what I want you guys to do is just go to special teams, pump block, 44 even, every playbook should have this, go to 8 up safe man. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go on whoever's lined up here, for me it's Owens Taylor. So once, right when they hack the ball, if you're on PlayStation, you want to hold R2 and left stick down. If you're on Xbox, you want to hold right trigger and left stick down. And then bam force fumble it doesn't matter if you recover it or not and if they recover it it'll still count as a force fumble just as long as you force the fumble and it's pretty easy you just have to do this 50 times shouldn't take you more than i think half an hour maybe but formation special teams pump block 44 even eight up safe man once again if you're on playstation hold r2 and left stick down right when they hack the ball if you're on xbox hold right trigger and left stick down right when they hack the ball so I'm not sure if that's correct for Xbox because I don't play Xbox, but I'm pretty sure that's correct for Xbox. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you just want to get right by the left tackle there, get an easy force fumble, replay the challenge, very easy to get your force fumbles done. Now what I have noticed doing this is that if you sack them yourself, it'll pretty much be a guaranteed force fumble every single time. But if you let the computer sack them, like if we let the computer sack them right here, holy crap, why wouldn't he sack them? But if you let the computer sack them, he won't fumble. But if you sack them, it, he will fumble. So if you guys want the guaranteed force fumble, I recommend you try to sack them yourself. Otherwise, if the computer sacks them, then it most likely won't be a fumble. But 99 out of 100 times if you sack them yourself like right here so once again i'm gonna hold r2 and left stick down and bam sack them myself he should fumble every single time but if the computer sacks him then he won't fumble so just keep that in mind 
So that's how you guys get your team force fumbles. Like I said, it doesn't matter who makes the force fumble as long as you guys get it and it doesn't matter whether you cover or not. But the 20 interception with Sam Mills, that one is going to be a toughie because it has to be with Sam Mills. So I've tested it, I've tested a lot with Sam Mills and I just can't find an easy way to do it. I learned this from Xerxes video and he learned it from some other YouTuber. But the challenge you guys want to do, the easiest way to get this done, you guys want to go to Super Bowl Pass. Super Bowl Pass challenges, like I, said, I did a lot of testing in Rivals. I did a lot of testing defense. There wasn't any easier way to get this done. I'm probably gonna do a little bit more testing and let you know if I find an easier way. Let me know if you guys find an easier way, but you just want to do this challenge right here, Super Bowl, Super Bowl Pass, and then you want to go into Steelers versus Cowboys. Do this on one star. So like I said, I recommend you do these gradually, especially the interception with Sam Mills, because it's a little bit hard to focus on these. But if you want to focus on it, these are the, or this is the best challenge to do if you want to focus on the interception with Sam Mills. I'm just going to three, four odd Tampa two. They always run Hail Mary, so they're just gonna chuck it up deep and you're just gonna wanna try to intercept them. Thankfully, it's only 20 interceptions, so hopefully it shouldn't take you guys too long so you guys get a little bit lucky with them. Right there, intercept them with Cleo Mass, but that's pretty much the best way to do it. Maybe that kind of interception, I'm just kidding. But that's pretty much how you guys want to do it. Like I said, I haven't found any easier way to do this. You just want to simply run like cover two, cover three, whatever coverage you like, and then just try to intercept it. They'll chuck it up every single time, or maybe not chuck it up, but they'll at least, they're going to throw it deep pretty much every single time. And you're just going to want to try to intercept it. So let me see if I can do it here. And it's only 20 interceptions like I said, so hopefully it shouldn't take you guys too long. And bam, right there, we got an easy intercept with Sam Mills right there. So that's already one of them. Actually, I think I already had one before, so that was my second one, I think. But that's pretty much how you guys want to do it. And then uh, make sure you don't restart the game. Don't restart or quit the game, otherwise, you know, it won't count. But you just want to finish the game out, and then it'll count. You just want to do that over and over again until you get your 20 interceptions with Sam Mills. Like I said, I'm still trying to find easier ways to do this, but it's pretty simple this way. You just cover two, cover three, whatever coverage, and just try to intercept it with Sam Mills and yeah simple as that but that's how you guys get your force fumbles and interceptions as fast as possible like I said I recommend you do both of them gradually because it's better to do things you know while you're doing other things like finish challenges that you haven't finished and then you also get your you know sacks or your not your sack but your force fumbles and your interceptions while you're doing other challenges but like I said if you want to focus on them those are the best challenges to focus on them so the second method we'll be talking about will be this 92 overall team builder fantasy pack. So as you guys know, team builder sets are my favorite ways to make coins. I love this 88 overall team builder fantasy pack. Now this 92 overall one that they just added, I, you guys can definitely make some profit. You guys probably make about five to 15K profit every time you guys do this. The thing I don't like about it is one, it, it's gonna cost a lot of coins and two you need 11 items to complete this so it'll probably take you a good amount of time to finish this maybe like five to ten minutes to finish the set if you guys get lucky and find these guys for a good price so like i said you guys can still probably make profit off of this we're still gonna do them this video because they're new but i still recommend you do the 88 overall one because you only need five items to complete this so it's really cheap really fast and you guys can make about five to ten k profit every time you do it but we're just gonna do this one just because it's you know it's newer so it, you need 4 83 to 84s, 4 85 to 86 overalls, and 3 87 to 88 overalls. So I'm going to show you guys the fastest way and the cheapest way to get all that done. Also, a bonus thing I recommend you guys do is check the Superstar MVP set because let's say you finish a set for, you know, 40,000 coins and then you sell Lamar Jackson for 30,000 coins. Well, you're saying you're losing 10,000 coins because if you're finishing this set for 40K and selling Lamar Jackson for 30K, then you're losing 10,000 coins, right? But you also get 286 overalls. So technically, you're paying 10,000 coins for 286 overalls, hypothetically, if you finish it for that price. So 86 or 85 to 86 overalls are selling for around like 6 to 7K per. So if you guys can finish this set with a loss of under like 10,000 coins then you're you're making profit so that's that's the only reason why I recommend you check these so first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the cost on the Lamar Jackson Tyron Matthew set so it costs about 47,000 coins to do the Lamar Jackson and the Tyron Matthew set because they both require the same amount of items so it costs about 47k to do both of them now let's look at Zeke Elliott so it costs about 45,000 coins to do the Ezekiel Elliott and Miles Garrett set because they both require the same thing. So 47k for these two sets, 45k for these two sets. Now let's check the prices on all four of the 89 overalls. So as you guys can see, Lamar Jackson is going for about 40,000 coins. Uh, Miles Garrett is also going about 40,000 coins. Ezekiel Elliott is going about 40,000 coins also. And then Tyron Matthew is all the way down here going for almost 50,000 coins. So if we do the Tyron Matthew set for 47,000 coins and then sell them for about 50k, then we actually make a 3k profit 
plus we get two free 85 and 86 or two free 86 overall so that's why i always recommend you check the prices on the sets and see how much they're both going for always check the superstar mvp method because you never know when it might work and if it does work you guys can definitely make some easy profits so now what we're going to do is we're going to buy the set piece and need to complete the set and just so that way you guys can see the price on this actual set so let's see so let's do the math ourselves so how to lock it 11,000 coins remember Tower Matthew's selling for around 45 to 50k somewhere in between there and then the Chidavi Swipe is going for an additional 12,500 so that adds up to about 23-24k and Mike McGlinchey is going for about 38,000 coins in total or not he's not going for 38,000 he's going for 14k which adds up to 38,000 coins and then Preston Smith is going for about 10,000 coins. So that, that adds up to about 48, 49k. So I said 47,000 coins. That's about 49,000 coins total. So still, we can still finish the set for about 48, 49k and then sell them for around that price. So we're pretty much getting two free 86 overalls by doing this method. So I highly recommend you at least check this method. It's not going to work every single time, but I highly recommend you at least check the method. And you guys can use the 86 overalls on whatever you want. I'm just using them for the team builder method, but you guys can use them for like the exchange sets or whatnot. But always recommend you check the set so there we go we just finished set for about 40 we'll just we'll just say 49,000 coins we get tyron matthew and his power up. i forgot how his power up so we're going to be able to make back a little bit more coins with that too and then we also get these 86 overalls so we're just going to choose the 286 overalls because obviously they're higher overalls and like i said you guys can use them for whatever you want they go into a bunch of different other sets let's see they're eligible for 18 other sets so you guys can put them into any of these other sets but we're just going to put them into the 92 overall team builder set so Tyron Matthew, let's see if he's went down at all since the last time we checked him. Nope, he's going still going for about fifty-three thousand coins. So if he's selling for about, well, selling for about fifty-two thousand coins minus tax, that's about forty-seven k. So we lost about two thousand coins, but still, we're technically paying two thousand coins for two eighty-six overalls, which is extremely cheap. And I don't know what I'm doing here. There we go. Put him up for fifty-two thousand coins. I recommend you put him up for eight hours. So that way, gives him more time to sell. Obviously, if he doesn't sell, I'm going to lower him a little bit. But we should still be able to, you know, make some decent profit so tyron matthews power up is selling i'm guessing he's not selling for too much still 1400 coins we'll still take an easy 1000 coins but that's much how you guys do the method we got 286 overalls for pretty much under 2000 coins so now we need 483 to 84 overall so we're going to try to find these for around 3500 coins so we're just going to get this one for 3600 coins i always check the ultimate kickoff because it filters by just 83 overalls to see if i can find any good prices there we found one for 3600 coins now what you guys can do is you guys can go into the core elite filter you guys can go into the legends filter so we're going to check the core elite filter real quick see if there's any good prices we can find so what i do is i just go by a bunch of different positions so i go by like wide receiver quarterback halfback i stay away from the offensive line or the tight end so let's see wide receiver if you can find any good 83 overalls for like 34 maybe 3500 coins no luck there here maybe we'll check the legend section see if we'll find any more luck in the legend section actually you know what you could probably just filter by all programs and then just go by a bunch of different positions so you don't have to just filter by a single program so we're just going to go to wide receiver and see if there's any good wide receivers up for a good price so let's see power-ups do not go into sets Keep that in mind so let's see can we find anything once again 83 overall power up power ups do not unfortunately go into sets so right now it doesn't look like we're having much luck finding these prices for you know finding these for a good price let's try cornerbacks we just need three more 83 overalls this is why i prefer the 88 overall team builder method because it's a lot faster to do that you only need a couple 83 overalls but with this set you need 43 overalls which isn't too much of a big of a deal but i just prefer the other one but you know obviously we're gonna do this one because it's new but let's see if we can find any good 83 overalls let's filter by right end and let's see so bam 83 overall for 3,000 coins we will happily take this one now we need three more i think or two more we need two more 83 overalls so right and let's see can we find any more another cameron hayward up for 3100 coins so like it looks like we found some gold right here so sometimes you'll get really lucky and find like you know three straight players in a row going for a good price and looks like we did get lucky here with cameron hayward our third cameron hayward bam 3333 coins so there's our 83 overalls we got our 483 overalls now we need 485 to 86 overalls so once again i like to check the ultimate kickoff filter because it filters by just 85 overall so we're going to do program ultimate kickoff 
So we're going to try to find these for around 7,000 coins. So remember, we got two of them for pretty much free by doing the Super Saiyan VP method. So now we only need we only need to get two of these. So because of the Super Saiyan VP method, we only need two of these. If we didn't do it, then we would need four. But this is just probably the best way to do it. Uh, you guys can just do Program Alt Make a Cough. Or you guys can try to look in the Elite or the Core. Actually, you guys probably just go to, once again, just go to all programs and then just go by a bunch of different positions. So go to like type wide receivers, type cornerbacks, type passbacks, and just try to find these for a good price. So we'll try to go on a wide receiver so you can find any good prices it actually doesn't feel like they filter it down here the the reason why i say that you guys might be able to go to buy all programs is that you guys can see all the newest cards so to know that if you're seeing all the cards you want to go to newest and then if the you see the timer on the minutes remaining on the card and bottom left hand corner of the cards is 36 minutes left so if that says 59 minutes that means you're seeing the newest cards but however many minutes add, that adds up to 59 minutes that's how many minutes of cards you're missing out on so since it's just 36 minutes we are missing on 23 minutes on call we are missing out on 23 minutes of cards so that's not very good so what you guys could do is you guys could filter down a little bit so like i could filter down by legends and then we should hopefully see 59 minutes Bam, 59 minutes, which means we are seeing the newest card. So that's how you guys know if you guys are seeing the newest card. Actually, here is one for 6,900 coins. So bam, we got our 285 overalls for a pretty good price, about 7,000 coins. That's it. We could probably find these for cheaper, but I, I just want to buy, you know, the first ones I see. So we're going to do quality 86 to 87. Unfortunately, ultimate kickoff does not work with this. So for 87 overalls, you want to find them for around 10 to 11,000 coins. So we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just see if we can find any good for good price let's see 11k maybe it's one for 12,000 coins I don't feel like paying 12,000 coins for this we only need 387 overall players so we'll go by let's we'll try by cornerbacks and see if we can find anything let me make sure we're seeing the newest cards so newest and yes we are seeing the newest cards 58 minutes left and yeah it doesn't look like we're finding any of these 87 overalls for under 12 or for under 11,000 coins so for the 86 to 87 overalls, you guys can go on all programs for a couple positions. So like middle linebacker, wide outside linebackers, wide end, left end, etc. Cornerbacks and wide receivers, you will not see the newest cards if you go on these filters. So 12,500 coins, man, we cannot find these for like 11,000 coins. Maybe we should just buy these for 12,000 coins because we've already spent a lot of time trying to find these cards for a cheap price. So yeah, I, like to, I don't like to spend too much time trying to find these for a cheap price just because, because I feel like it's better if you just, you know, go fast but we'll just buy this one for 11,750 coins usually if i can't find a card for my price usually i obviously up my budget a little bit so that way i can find cheaper cards go by left end so once again let's just make sure we are seeing the newest card so we'll go by program newest make sure we're seeing the newest cards and we are 59 minutes left newest is also a good filter you guys can go on so like if you look through here you guys can go by buy now price number bids price newest so newest is also good because then you guys can see the newest cards and usually the newest cards are the cheapest cards so newest is not bad to go on either so left in doesn't look like we'll have any luck there but look if you look on wide receiver and you look on the time remaining on the time remaining it says 45 minutes which means we're missing out on 14 minutes of cards which means we can filter down a little bit maybe we can filter by let's see you can filter by legends and see if you can find anything for cheaper so if you filter by legends it goes back up to 57 minutes so 12,003 oh here's one for 11,300 coins finally find one for a good price 87 of all chad johnson that's why i said buy now price and newest is a good filter but newest newest is probably better but buy now price is you know it's it's easier to use buy now price but let's see can we find any good cheap 87 overall legend wide receivers we'll just buy we'll just buy this one for 12,000 coins like i said i don't like to spend too much time on this so bam I'll buy that one for 12,000 coins so i think we spent a little bit more than i wanted to but since we got the 286 overalls for free we still didn't spend that many coins so to complete this to complete the method we spent about 12,000 so that's about 23k plus another 12k that's about 35k plus 7 that's about 42k 49k and then about 9k for those three 58k and then 60 61 to 62k so yeah so we spent 62k with the help of the superstar mvp method without the mvp method we would have probably spent upwards of 85k so like i said a little bit more than i wanted to spend but still only spending 63k because of the superstar mvp method is definitely a w but had we not had the mvp method we would have spent about 85k which is you know you usually want to spend about 80k so 
definitely not you know definitely not the run price we wanted it but we still finished that for pretty cheap but now we're going to finish set and we have one more step to do so there we go we completed the set now the last step is to find out which one of these cards is going for the most amount of coins so that way we can obviously make the most amount of profit so to do this i like to use a app on your app store it's called the man companion app it's a great app because it lets you sell cards on your on your account it lets you buy cards so it's a great app to have all you have to do is connect your ea account to the companion app i'm pretty sure it was made by ea sports so obviously it has a lot of bugs but it's made by ea sports so it's definitely tr trustable and you just want to simply what what it does is if you go into the auction house and let's say i tap on this you know silver card right here it would tell me the recent auction sold so it would tell me that this kirkwood guy sold for about you know 1000 coins two hours ago it sold for about 2000 coins four hours ago so that way i actually know if these cards are selling for that price because just just because that card is up to that price that doesn't mean that they're actually selling for the price but on the companion app it tells you that the recent auction sold so that way you guys can see if they're actually selling for the price that they're being put up so program team builders quality 92 10 so now what we're going to do is we're going to filter by a few different positions so first off we're going to try to check every single offensive lineman so we're going to go to type left tackle bam 107k so the most expensive left tackle is going about 118,000 coins that is very expensive here we're going to go through the whole offensive lineman and just see which one of them is the most uh, expensive so left guard there jordan jackson going about 107,000 coins center here there is no center right card let's see any right guards up for a good price so right guard is 151k holy crap i don't i doubt he sells for that much but right tackle and let's see he the most expensive right tackle is this guy right here actually no most expensive right tackle is cameron fleming so i'm gonna go on the companion app see which one of these off the linemen is selling for the most amount of coins and yeah i'll be back so after looking on the companion app i have decided that the most or i have seen anyways that the most expensive team builder 92 overall offense lineman is this left guard here he has sold for 120k about a few times for the past five hours and then the right guard here so this right guard has sold for about 120k plus like five times in the past like 10 hours so we're gonna do this one just because the only card up there is going for about 151k and if you look at left guard the cheapest one is going for about 107k so i have a higher chance of selling the right guard for about 120k than i do the left guard but left guard and right guard both good card to pick so what we're gonna do is we're going to pick the left guard there and sell it for about 120k of course the guy i wanted to pick is the guy that's on the last <laughs> uh card of this pack but we're going to choose this guy ezra cleveland i'm pretty sure is how you say it and then we're going to sell it for about 120,000 coins minus tax that's about 108,000 coins so remember we spent about i think 63k on this method and then we got back about 108,000 coins. So that is an insane 45,000 coin profit if this card sells. We put him up for eight hours. Always put him up for eight hours. That way it gives him a lot of time to sell. If he doesn't sell within that time, then obviously you guys can put him up for lower. But that is definitely a huge W in the chat. It's about, a, like I said, about a 40,000 coin profit without the superstar MVP method that we would have probably only gotten like 20,000 coin profit. So I don't know. It's, it's just personal preference. The 92 overall method is a great method to do. We got 40K without the superstar mvp method we only got 20k with the 88 overall one you get you get probably 5k every like 5,000 with every you get about 5k every five minutes and then with this one you get probably around you know 20 to 40k every half an hour every 20 minutes so it's just personal preference they're both great methods so yeah they're both great methods but method number two team builder methods every one of those sets definitely a lot of profit to be made with all of the team builder sets and with the third method we're going to talk about will be these get a player packs once again an amazing method to do there's a lot of different ways you guys can do this method which is what i love about it what i don't like about it is why you guys can't see the odds on these packs because maybe he's trying to hide some but these packs obviously gotten better with the new series update which means you guys have a higher chance of pulling elite players you're gonna have a better chance of pulling higher elite players so which means you guys can put them into more sets so we're just gonna open a few of these packs right here with the silvers you just want to put them into the next exchange set so then we pull a Juan Winfrey, I'm sure how you say it, and then we'll put him into the 66-69 overall. So that's what you guys want to do with the silver, just put him into the next exchange set. Hey, daily objective pack, 7,500 coins. I don't think I've ever pulled anything over like 100,000 coins in this Madden. I, the highest I've ever pulled from any Madden is like 200k back in Madden 20 or Madden 19, I can't remember. But yeah, those those objectives, easy coins, but definitely not good odds for a lot of coins. 71 overall, Kevin Pierre Lewis will put him into the... There's two sets you guys can put him in. 
you need a 4 70 to 74 overalls to finish this set right here. This one I like more just because it has a higher chance of a, or it has a chance, not a higher chance, it has a chance of pulling a power up. This one, you only need 3, but you don't have a chance to pull a power up. So if you guys are looking to complete some sets that requires some 76 to 79 overall players, then you guys can do this set right here. I just prefer this set just because it, you know, you have a chance to pull an expensive power up that might be going for a good amount of coins. So hopefully we can pull an elite right here and we pull a an elite let's go we pull a 81 overall Jared McCoy so if you pull an elite obviously if you guys want to take your guaranteed profit you guys can just immediately sell him if you pulled an elite or you guys can put him into there's a lot of team of the week sets you guys can put him into these are risky because obviously you guys can pull like a, like you guys can do the set right here and pull like an 80 overall team of the week player and not make any profit or you guys pull an 88 overall and make a lot of profit so if you guys are you know want to risk it for the best kit these team of the week sets are not too shabby to do don't do the elite exchange set you're, you're, you're gonna lose coins almost every single time uh, well, there, you guys can put these players into any of the team of the week sets out there. 80 to 84 overall player. I'm not even sure what that set is, but the set I actually recommend you guys do is the 88 overall team builder fantasy pack because if you guys can get the right amount of players to finish the set, you need two 80 to 82 overall players, two 83 to 84 overall players, and an 85 to 86 overall player. You guys can finish this set for a few thousand coins and then sell the player you guys get for around 15 to 20k to give you guys a lot of profit. So bam, put them into the 88 overall team builder set. Just my recommendation. Let's see, there is a million different things you guys can do with the get a player method. There's a million different ways you guys can do this method. That's why it's a great method. It's a it's a very diversive method because you guys can do a lot of different things with it. Here we pull a 64 overall. Once again, we're just gonna put them into the next exchange set. We should finish the set right here. And then uh, with the set, you have a chance to pull a power. Up. Let's see if we can pull a power up. Now what I recommend you guys do actually is not do that. I recommend you save up a lot of these packs and then open them because I feel like just me personally I have a better chance to pull a power up if I open like 10 in a row rather than opening one at a time. So I, I think I think that's just the you know that might just be a me thing, but that's just a recommendation. So here we pull a 74 overall Nick Martin. You guys get it, but like I said, there's a lot of different ways you guys can do this method. I recommend you put the silvers into the uh, Next exchange set, I recommend you put the gold, or I recommend you put the 70 to 74 overalls into the 75 to 79 overall exchange set. And I recommend you put the 76 to 79 overalls into, honestly, I'm not sure what, what you guys should put, do, do with your 76 to 79 overalls, just because, you know, these team of the week sets are risky. Like if you look at this set right here, you need 16, 78, 82 overalls for a random 81 to 89 overall team of the week. I don't think that's worth it. I think if you're gonna do any team of the week set, it's gonna be one of these earlier sets, like this week three set right here. To complete this week three set, you need 8 77 to 82 overall players to earn a random 79 to 87 overall team of the week player. You need a lot less players for that one. Or you guys could do this week one set. To complete this week one set, you need 6 75 to 80 overall players. And you guys will get a random 78 to 86 overall team of the week player. So this one might be a worth, might be a set, you know, worth to risk on. But I don't know. The 70, 79 to 79 overalls are, they're, they're, they're risky. Whatever you put them in, it's obviously going to be risky. So you guys could keep them and see if they ever go up in price. Because like I said, Team Diamond should be released soon. So you guys could keep your higher overall gold players. And they might go up in price with Team Diamond Series 2. Or you guys could try to sell them for, you know, maybe a couple hundred coin profit. Or you guys could try to risk it in the Team of the Week set. Or you guys can also put them into the Team Builder set. There's a lot of different sets you guys could do with your 75 to 79 overalls. But I recommend you either save it or you put them into the Team of the Week set. Just my personal recommendation. And put them into the Team of the Week 1 set. I should be more specific. And then obviously with your Elites, I recommend you put them into the 88 overall Team Builder set. Or you guys can sell them for the easy coins. But get a player method, a great method to do. Don't need that many coins. I recommend you do the method with at least 10,000 coins though because you know if you're doing the method with 2,000 coins you can only buy four of those packs which isn't going to be a higher chance to make coins back on but if you open like 20 of those packs then you have a higher chance to make coins back on it but get a play method is a great method to do so now let's get into some bonus methods so these will be the final methods of the video i'm going to just talk about a few methods over the course of you know probably like five minutes just because i didn't want to spend five minutes talking about each method but i did want you guys to know about these methods so the first method we'll be talking about it's kind of just like a tip just make sure that whenever ea releases a new card just look at the previous versions of that card because usually when ea releases a new card whether it's an elite or a power up the previous versions of that card goes up in price so just look at the card. So for example, DK Metcalf. When DK Metcalf got a 95 overall playoff card, his 92 overall 
team standout card went up in price a lot so i'm pretty sure it's a 92 overall team standout card that could be going insane I'm, maybe it's not i do apologize his 89 overall team standout card so this 89 overall team standout card went up in price when he got his 95 overall you know nfl playoff upgrade so that's just an example right there and when jermichael finley got his 97 overall uh, legend card his uh, 90 i'm pretty sure his 89 overall and yeah, this 89 overall team diamond card went up to like a hundred thousand coins so you just want to keep an eye on the players that ea's are that ea is releasing look at the previous versions of that card see if you guys can finish any of the sets to complete those you know cards and then maybe some for a, a higher price because like i said these cards go up in price whenever they have a, a new card so you know if a 97 overall jim michael friendly comes up his 89 overall card goes up in price and his power up goes up in price so you guys can look to see how much are the previous versions of the card that EA is releasing are going for and maybe it'll be able to make some profit off that so just a tip whenever you release a new card look at the previous versions of the card and then maybe you guys can make some profit so that's tip number one now another tip is to take advantage of your Saturdays. So Saturdays is a great day to take advantage because you guys can make a lot of coins. I'm gonna give you guys a few different ways you guys can make coins on Saturday. So the reason why Saturday is so good is because it's the, when the most amount of people are on. So that's when the market crashes usually because that's when the most amount of people are on. It's when Ultimate Legends come out. So the first thing is right when Ultimate Legends get released, you guys can try to do these Ultimate Legend release challenges and try to be one of the first people to get the power up. Because even if it's a trash card, Usually if you're the first player to get the power up, usually they go for a lot of coins. So these cards get, these these Ultimate Legend release challenges, I'm pretty sure get released right when the Ultimate Legend cards get released. So if you guys get up at like 10.30 a.m. Eastern time on Saturdays and try to grind these Ultimate Legend release challenges right when they come out and be one of the first people to get these power ups, you guys can sell them for a good amount of price or for a good amount of coins. So that's, that's one way you guys can take advantage of Saturdays. The other way is by sniping cards. Once again, you guys want to snipe cards for around, around, the first couple of hours when Ultimate Legends first come out. So around 10.30, probably like two, maybe maybe like two to four Eastern time. So about 10.30 to four o'clock Eastern time. Those are the best time to snipe. And you guys can definitely snipe because, uh, because a lot of people will be opening up Ultimate Legend packs, which will make the market go down. So what you guys could do is you guys could try to snipe the Ultimate Legend cards for a good price hold on to them and then sell them later on the week so usually wednesdays are the best days to sell them because usually wednesdays is when the cards go up in price and then saturdays are when the cards go down in price so if you look at program ultimate legends so let's say let's say for example you're able to get an 87 overall corey dillon for about 10,000 coins here we'll go to quality 86 87 let's say you're able to snipe an 87 overall so let's see, so they're going for about 14,000 coins right now. So let's say you're able to snipe an 87 overall Corey Dillon for about 10,000 coins on Saturday. And then you sell them right now for about 14,000 coins. That's an easy 3,000 coin profit. It might not sound like much, but if you snipe 10 Corey Dillons for around 10K, that's a 30K profit. And you guys might be able to snipe them for around 5K. You might be able to get them for around 6K. Like I said, a lot of people will be opening up these Ultimate Legend cards and a lot of, or not Ultimate Legend cards, but a lot of people will be opening up these Ultimate Legend packs, which will make these Ultimate Legend cards go down in price on Saturdays. And then you guys can sell them on Wednesdays and make a lot of profit. And just sniping in general so you know you don't have to do it on saturday but just sniping in general like on any weekday or on a, any weekend day it just is you know great to make coins so there's a lot of videos out there on how to you know the best filters to snipe on how to snipe how to snipe in general but i'm not a very good sniper so i can't really you know tell you guys how to snipe good because i'm not very good myself because i don't really snipe too much if i'm being completely honest with you guys i don't snipe too much i don't I have fun sniping so i don't usually like to do something i don't have fun with but i will not deny that sniping is one of the best ways but one of the best consistent ways to make coins so yeah if you guys enjoy sniping sniping is definitely a great way to make coins whether it's a saturday or not on any weekday it's a great way to make coins you're just you know buying a card for cheap and then selling them for more expensive you're just simply flipping a card for some easy profit so it's definitely one of the best consistent ways to make coins like i said there's a million of videos out there that tells you the best filters to snipe on how to snipe in general so yeah check those videos out if you guys are interested about sniping but those are the bonus methods i have for you guys take advantage of your saturdays and the um what what was it oh yeah 
make sure you guys keep an eye on the previous versions of the card that gets released whenever EA releases a new card to see if you guys can make some easy profit. But those are the best ways to make Quantum Man 21 Ultimate Team. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, if you have any questions, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, if this video did help you out, please do like and comment because it's something you can discover more on YouTube. If you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever I upload. And it would also help out the channel a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Hand Tree Gamer. Hope you're a fantastic day. God bless. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Peace.